Hi everyone, it's Miss Farkasin here again for another handwriting lesson. Now last week we started looking at the down letters, didn't we? But you can see on the screen there were so many of them, you might remember I had to split them into two groups. So last week we did part one of our down letters and this week we're going to do part two. So last week we did the letters L, T, B, P, K and H. And this week, you can see the pictures on the screen, we're going to focus on I, J, M, N, R, A and Y. And the reason we call these down letters are because every time we write them, we have to start at the top and go down first, don't we? Down in a straight line. So that helps us remember that they are in the down letters group. So here is our first one that we're going to look at this week, and it's the letter E. And to make this one, we have to start with the part of the insect's body, don't we? We don't do the dot for the head first. We go down the insect's body and then dot for the head. Okay, like this. Down the body, dot the head. Down the body, dot the head. And remember to leave a good gap at the top for the head. We don't want the gap to be too giant like that. That's far too far up, isn't it? Okay, but we want there to be a nice gap down the body, top the head. Okay, and I think, mine were a bit wiggly there. I think this must be this funny pen I'm using, but I think the last one I did was a bit neater by the time I'd got to number five. So that's the one I'm going to choose. And I'm going to write a word using some down letters, and I'm going to go for a really small word, and it's the word in. Eh? N, e, n. You can try that at home. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is very similar to an e, isn't it? And quite often children get these two confused because they look similar. But it's a letter j this time. And for a j, we have to do the curled part in the other direction. And a j, we also have to work hard to try and get the tail part to sit under the line. So what we say for this one is down his body, curl and dot. Let's try that. So down his body, curl and dot. And can you see how the curled part is underneath the line? Down his body, curl and dot. Down his body, curl and dot. One more, down his body, curl and dot. My best one, I think, I'm going to go for, again, I think I'm going to pick my last one. It's not quite as wiggly as some of the others. There we go. Let's try and write a word using the j sound. I'm going to this time write a word. Uh, it's going to have three sounds in it, and it's the word jam. j a -m. I like to have jam on my toast. J, A, M. You try that one. The next letter is the one that we did at the very, very start when we started learning all of our phonics, and it's the letter M. But funnily enough, it's one of the ones that children do wrong most of the time. And instead of starting at the top, they for some reason just always want to start at the bottom. So we need to make sure with this one we're being really careful to always start at the top of Maisie's head. Because we go down her head to her toes, don't we? And we do Maisie, mountain, mountain. So it's so important to remember to go from the top, Maisie, back up, mountain, mountain. Now for this one, I'll show you quite often what some children do. And this is something to try and practice to make sure you can do this properly. Quite often, children will go mazy and then they'll do the first mountain. And then when they get to the bottom of the first mountain, instead of going back up that line, they just make a new curl and they go over another hump, another mountain like that. But that one looks a bit strange, doesn't it? So what we want to try and do is instead of having this gap here, we want to try and close it up so it's mazy mountain. Go back up the same line, back up mountain like that. Okay, Maisie, mountain, mountain. I'm going to do one more. Maisie, 
mountain, mountain. Okay, can you see the difference between the one that we don't want to do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a red cross through it like that because that's not how we want to do it. All right, which one of the other ones do I like? I think I'm going to go for this one here. Quite a nice one. Mm. And I'm going to write a word starting with M mm, and I'm going to write the word man. M a n man. So I need to do my mazy mountain mountain, and an a, and an n. There we go, man. You give that a try. Here's our next letter we're going to practice, and it's n, n. Down Nobby and over his net. And again, for this one, we have to start at the top. Sometimes people want to start at the bottom. And be a bit lazy, but we need to make ourselves start at the top and go down Nobby's body first. So down Nobby and over the net. Down Nobby and over the net. Down Nobby and over his net. Okay. Being careful that we don't make it look like a huh. Because remember, if we start too tall, it's going to look like a huh, isn't it? And we don't want that. So we start in the middle of our lines. And we go down Nobby, back up the same line and over his net. Oh, that was quite a good one at the end. I think that's my favourite one. So I'm going to write a word beginning with N and I'm going to go for the word net since it's down Nobby and over his net. So N, et, net, three sounds. N, e, and then a nice tall T, net. Give it a try. Our next letter, as part of the down letters group, is the letter R. And we've got our robot there, haven't we? And we need to go down the robot and then over the robot's arm. So we'll go down his body and over the robot's arm. And when we go over his arm, we don't want to make his arm go too far. Because if I go too far like this, oh, it's starting to look a bit like an N, isn't it? We don't want it to look like that. So we just go over the arm a little bit, down the robot and over his arm. And we want to try and avoid doing this. Some people do this to make their writing fancy. Look, oh, we don't want to make our writing look like that. Okay, it looks a wee bit strange, doesn't it? But sometimes children like to try and make it fancy, but we don't need to. We just need to stick with going down the robot and over his arm. Down the robot and over his arm. One more down the robot and over his arm. And I'm going to pick this one as my favourite. Maybe we could try and write the word robot. It's a bit of a trickier one to write. Let's think about the sounds. Er, o, b, ot. Mm, it's quite a lot of sounds. So it starts with er. Now the next sound was o. Now we've not learned the o sound yet, but in this word it's okay because it's actually just an o that is giving us that sound in this word. It's a bit strange. Then a b, so rob, ot. Is that going to let me finish my pen? It's been a wee bit funny today, isn't it? Doesn't seem to like this word robot. Mm. There we go. It's a bit wonky because my pen's been a bit silly, but you can see how it works, robot. So the next one we're going to try and write is the letter a. Uh. A uh for umbrella. Down and under. Up to the top and draw the puddle. Down and under, up to the top and draw the puddle. Down and under, up to the top and draw the puddle. This one's important. We try and make both sides of the a uh, the same height. Okay. Down and under, up to the top and draw the puddle. And I think my favourite one is going to be this one in the middle quite like the look of that one. And then I'm going to try and write a word with the uh sound. I think I'm going to go for the word up. A simple word, up. So, uh and p. You give that a try. Okay, so the last letter from our down letters group is the letter y. And for this one we say down a horn, up a horn, and under his head. 
Don't wait for the yak. Let's try that. Down a horn, up a horn and under his head. And for this one, it's another one that we've got to try and sit it on the line, don't we? And make the tail part go under. So down a horn, up a horn and under his head. Down a horn, up a horn and under his head. Quite a tricky one to do and make it sit on the line nice. Down a horn, up a horn and under his head. Okay, I think I like my second one best out of those ones that I did. And I actually think we'll try and write the word yak. It's a kind of funny word, isn't it? But let's give it a try. Y-A-K. Yak. So it's a... Y-A. And a kicking k. To finish. Yak. Give that a go. So everyone, that is us at the end of our handwriting lesson and today we have learned the second half of our down letters and those were the letters I, J, M, N, R, A and Y and the reason they're called down letters is because we have to start at the top and go down first. And that's a really important thing for you to practice, especially for that letter M, mm, Maisie Mountain Mountain, because that's the one that me and Miss Cram see done incorrect the most often. OK, so make sure you practice that one really well. So you can give these a wee practice and we look forward to seeing what you do. Bye for now.